Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now, let's put that power to the test. It's time for K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Junelle Labor. Ako po si Chenson Pascual, and this is K-Check. Remember, hindi lang ito isang test ng brain power ng ating mga contestants. Imbitado rin kayong sumagot at matuto. Every K-Check is an opportunity for us to teach and learn. Samahan niyo kami hanggang sa papalapit na final week of competition when we find out kung sino ang tatanghaling kauna-unahang K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Paula is a linguistic student from UP Diliman who loves learning and finds studying how languages work very useful. Si Aaron ay isang theater student na mahilig sa history, maglaro ng online games at manood ng sci-fi movies. Fally's love for theater and film carries over into her taste in music. She loves Broadway musicals and enjoys doing runway shows. Rodel currently studies BS Architecture at Davsu Bacolor, Pampanga. He loves doing charcoal portraits. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Glessy Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And Professor Aimee Sue Martinez of the Institute of Chemistry, UP Diliman. And now, contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Paula, in the NATO phonetic alphabet, if A is alpha, what is C? C is, um, chi or kai. Malik. Charlie. Charlie. Aaron, in math, what is 25% as a fraction in lowest terms? Uh, 0.25. Malik, one-fourth. Fali, what large archipelago of 270 million people is located south of the Philippines? Answer is Indonesia. Rodel, the late Susan Rosses is the mother of which senator? Correct answer is Grace Poe. Paula, what fraction is lowest terms is equal to 40%? 40%. 40%. So that's um, 2 over 5. K check. Aaron, which 300 meter high volcano with 38 recorded historical eruptions is located in a lake in Batangas? Um, Tal. K check. Fali, for almost seven years, who played the role of Cardo de Lisay on TV? Okay, check. Rodel, what fraction in lowest terms is equal to 0 0.6? 1 over 6. Malik, 3 fifths. Paula, Vice President Sara Duterte was mayor of what city in 2016? Davao City. Okay, check. Aaron, in basketball, what team in both the NBA and PBA has the same name as an immortal bird? Uh, Phoenix. Okay, check. Fali. What fraction in lowest terms is equal to 0 0.8? Correct answer is 4 fifths or 4 over 5. And Rodel, which branch of the armed forces of the Philippines is headed by a rear admiral? Correct answer is Navy. And that's it for our first round, the K-Check Paramian round. Ang daming math. <laughs> Hindi ka talaga makakaligtas sa math. Oo, oh, oh. kailangan yan. Math one man yan, pa onwards talaga oh, kailangan. Oo, oh, kailangan, kailangan. Oh, oh. Speaking of math, na mahal na mahal ni Prof. Neil. <laughs> Kamusta yung mga tanong na yun para sa'yo? Mahal na mahal talaga. <laughs> mahal na mahal ko talaga yan. Oh, ano Salamat ako na pumasok ako sa BA History Program na isa lang math. math. <laughs> okay. So, believe ako ka? sa mga galing sa math. Yeah, may tanong ako para kay Aaron. Okay. Si Aaron, katulad ko, ay mahilig sa history. Okay. So, ang tanong, ano mga gusto mong history topics? Um, sa war history, uh, war history po, sa pre-colonial, uh, mga digmaan, ganun po. 
sa world history. Ang foremost war historian sa Pilipinas ay kasama ko sa department. Mm-hmm. Oh, si Dr. Ricardo Jose. Pero baka ang tanong ko sa'yo, anong gusto mong war history? Let's say, um, during, world ba, Philippines, o Asia? Sa, during American-British War po. Yun. It took place nung independence ng America. Yun. War of Independence. Pero alam mo ba na kumampi ang mga French sa, sa mga Amerikano sa, laban uh, sa mga Briton? Si Lafayette po. Um, Isa po. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> Dahil magaling ka sa history, may laban ka para sa kitchen. Okay? Malaki bentahe yan. Okay? So, good luck din sa lahat. Thank you. Okay. Diba? Nagkaroon tayo ng mabilis na history lessons dito. Correct. Oo. Uh-huh. May tanong ka ba sa kanila? Gusto kong tanongin si Rodel kasi galing siya sa isang uh, paaralan, universidad sa Bacolor, Pampanga. Ikaw ba ay bumiyahi pa galing Pampanga today? Opo. Uh, galing kong bulakan, sinama ko po yung contestant kanina. Mm. O, oh, diba? At ngayon kasi nag-open up na ang borders, diba? Ano ang ano? Ano ang must visit ngayon sa Pampanga? Dahil kami ay excited bumiyahe after na ng two years na talaga namang nandito lang tayo sa ating mga kanya-kanyang bahay. Ngayon pong ano, panahon po ng magpapas ko yung mga giant lanterns po sa Pampanga. Uh, okay. Kaabang-abang. Diba? Nakabili ka na ba doon? Meron kami mga parol. Okay. Mahilig kami sa Pasko, pagde-decorate sa Pasko. Mm. Ngayon naman, Ready na ba kayong lahat for our Pabilisan Round? Next here on K-Check! Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. I-review muna natin ang accumulated points ng ating mga contestants. Si Paula may 20 points, Aaron 20 points, Fally 10 points at makakahabol pa si Rodel. Yes, so wala namang hangganan itong labanan. Oo, oh, may mga susunod pang rounds. Hmm, basta may confidence ka lang. Oo naman. We're now going into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, pag-isipan muna bago i-press ang buzzer. Let's begin! One of the intangible cultural heritages of Argentina is a famous dance for two originated in the 1880s. Paula? Um, tango. Kate Originated in the 1880s along the Rio de la Plata, what is this dance that is characterized by marked rhythms and postures and abrupt pauses? Correct answer is tango. What university's team has compiled a streak of more than 100 consecutive wins in women's basketball at the UAAP? Paula? Ateneo. Malik. The correct answer is NU or National University. From the Latin word for winter, what do you call the condition of an animal like a bear spending the winter in a dormant state? Hibernation. Aaron? Hiber- hibernation. Kate. Which U.S. state, formerly the most populous one, is known as the Empire State? Paula? New York. Kate Which wrestler starred in the 2018 film Rampage, which was based on a video game about monsters? Aaron? Kate Shea. Dwayne Johnson or The Rock? The songs Makes Me Wonder and Moves Like Jagger are the early number one hits of which band led by, led by Adam Levine? Rodell? Maroon 5. Kate Shea. Which human organ is being referred to idiomatically as gray matter? Paula. The brain. Kate. 
which actress played the role of Michelle M.J. Jones in Spider-Man No Way Home, Spider-Man Far From Home, and Spider-Man Homecoming? Aaron? Zendaya. Kate. In 1985, a joint American-French expedition, including Robert Ballard, discovered the wreck of which ship that sank 73 years earlier in the Atlantic Ocean? The Titanic. Paula? Uh, the, the Titanic. Keiichi. What Japanese religion that dates back to the 8th century has a name that means the way of the gods? Paula? Shintoism. Or Shinto? Keiichi. In basketball, at the 2019 FIBA World Cup, which team led by Marc Gasol defeated Argentina in the final to win the title? Rodel? Spain. Keiichi. What do you call the pair of soft tissue masses located at the rear of the throat that act like lymph nodes that may get swollen when infected? Paula? Tonsils. Keiichi. And that's the end of our K-Check Pabilisan Round. Points recap muna tayo. Nauna si Paula with 130 points. Kasunod si Aaron with 80 points. Si Sundal ni Rodel with 40 points. At si Fali has 10 points. No? Gusto ko yung ano, energy ni Paula. Mm. Ramdam na ramdam ko yung gigil niya sa buzzer. Oo nga, eh, parang bam! <laughs> talaga siya, oh, oh. I don't care about anyone. Oo, oh, oh. napansin din kaya ng ating mga judges na yun? Napansin mo ba, Prof. Ayan yun? <laughs> Galing naman ni Paula. Paula, you're leading by 50 points. Keep it up. Mm -hmm. May question ka ba para sa kanya? Oo, may question ako para, para kay Paula. Paula, you mentioned in your bio note that you love languages. Can you tell us about that? Um, okay, so ang um, course ko po kasi in UT is linguistics. And kaya po ako, kaya ako panisip na kun po yung course kasi I love learning languages po. Yung pati history din po ng languages. Mm -hmm. History. Everything about languages, apparently. Wow, good for you. You're in the right track if you love what you're doing. Oh, it's no I longer know. work, di ba? Mm -hmm. Ilang languages ang alam mo, Prof. Amy? Bisaya, um, Tagalog, or Filipino, English. Yun lang. Oh. <laughs> okay <laughs> naman. Alam ko yan, madami. Parang naman tayo doon. Okay. <laughs> Prof. Glessy, may questions ka ba sa ating mga contestants? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Tatanungin ko sana si Fali. Mm, go ahead. Kasi na nalaman ko na mahilig ka pala sa Broadway musicals at nasa theater din ako. Tatanungin ko sana sa iyo sino yung favorite mo na sarsuela singer? May kilala ka ba? Uh, uh, recently po uh, since tinitake ko rin po yung film classes ko, uh, ang napanood ko po ay si Atang Dela Rama. Ayun po. Uh, parang isa siya sa pinaka sikat na uh, Sir Swella Singer, nung panahon po. Thank you very much. Ako. Ano mga kanta ni Atang Dilarama, Prof. Bless? Nabasag ang banga. <laughs> ano ang nangyari? Alam mo ba yung kanta na yun? <laughs> Nabasag ang banga. <laughs> May pasample si Prof. Bless. <laughs> Mamaya-maya ulit. Okay. So, this time, our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet. Kaya lang ating ultimate pagalingan round susunod na here on K-Check. Welcome back. Points recap muna tayo. Leading si Paula with 130 points, followed by Aaron, 80 points, Rodel, 40 points, and Fally, 10 points. Pwede pang humabol yung iba, no? Oo, mm -hmm. kasi May meron pa tayong pa. third and last round, eh. Correct. Oo. Oh, oh. So, we'll find out kung makakabhabol pa silang lahat, no? Yung tato natin sa K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan, where correct answers are worth 30 points, wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ang kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers, sa round na ito, sa mga professors na ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winner. Contestants, 
Let's begin. First question. What is the name of this Philippine hero from Tondo who was a moromorista, a bodeguero, a manggagawa of canes and fans, Aaron. and Andres the Bonifacio? I will continue the question. And the leader of the KKK? The answer is Andres Bonifacio. K check. K check. Thank you so much. Prof Neil, question number two. Which country? is the world's largest exporter of coal. Paula. Germany. Malik. Ito ang pinaka, ang bansang ito ang pinakamalaking bansang archipelago. So, world's largest archipelago. Ang tamang sagot ay Indonesia. Puputang ako yun mamaya para bumili. Ang inaubusan daw eh. Prof. Aimee. Question para sa science. Sharks are known to be scary predators in the ocean. How many bones do sharks have? Aaron? Zero. K-Chen. Sharks are also known as elasmobranch which means that they are fish made of cartilaginous tissue. The correct answer is zero. Thank you, Prof. I mean, new knowledge para sa akin yun. Prof. Glessy. O oh, ito, pakinggan natin ha. Ang kalayaan ng tao ay katwirang tinataglay na talaga ng pagkatao na umiisip at gumagawa ng anumang ibigin kung ito'y di nalalabanan sa katwiran ng iba. This is an excerpt from Emilio Jacinto's most famous work. What is the name of this famous work which speaks about the talinhaga of light and darkness? Aaron? La Solidaridad. The answer is wrong. Tamang sagot ay liwanag at dilim. Maraming salamat po. Prof. Neil, next question please. Tanong para sa world history. This refers to the period of nearly eight centuries of Spanish history between the Umayyad conquest of Espana in 711 and the fall of Granada in 1492. tamang sagot ay reconquista. Thank you. Prof. Aimee. Favorite subject, chemistry. Group 18 of the periodic table is made up of which elements? Examples of these are helium, argon, krypton, xenon, and neon. Paula. Noble gases? Sorry. The correct answer is noble gases. We can't accept that answer because it's na ang time. Okay. Thank you, Prof. Aimee. Prof. Glessy, next question, please. Oh, ito, usapang UP. <laughs> what do you call the official student publication of UP Diliman? Fali. The answer is correct. K-check, Philippine Collegian. Maraming salamat. Prof. Neil. Tanong hinggil sa kasaysayan ng Mindanao. Okay. Anong pinakamalaking grupong lumad sa Sambuanga Peninsula? Aaron. Also, Mali? Ang mga tausog ay mga moro. So merong dalawang grupo ng mga katutubo sa Mindanao. Yung mga moro, so kasama doon yung mga tausog. Pag mga lumad, 
sila ay katutubo sa Mindanao, ngunit hindi sila moro. Ang tamang sagot ay Subano. Next question, Prof. Aimi. <laughs> the layer of the atmosphere in which weather occurs is called... Aeron. Troposphere. Okay, check. This is the first and lowest layer of our atmosphere, the troposphere. Okay, troposphere. Meron lang tayong tatlong huling katanungan, okay. no? <laughs> Prof. Glessie. Okay. What is the name of the hero of this Visayan epic called Hinilawod? Ang sagot ay Labaw Dunggon. Labaw Dunggon. Prof. Neil, next question. Huling tanong mula sa akin. This refers to policy measures designed to reduce the marginalization of groups that have suffered from discrimination, exclusion, or worse, and that are underrepresented in a society's desirable positions. Sa kasaysayan ng Estados Unidos, ginawa ito para sa mga African Americans. Ang tamang sagot ay affirmative action. Thank you. Huling katanungan, Prof. Ivy, no? Okay. Go, go, go. Huling tanong. What are the longest cells in the human body? Aeron. Skin. Bali. Paula. Neurons. They are also called information messengers. The correct answer is neurons. <laughs> Thank you, Prof. Aimi. Okay. And, and that's the end of our KCheck Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Paula, our KCheck Daily winner, with a final score of 145 points. She will receive a power bank from TBUP. And we'll see Paula again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-final. Thanks to Aaron, Fally, and Rodel for joining and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Glessy, Professor Neil, and Professor Aimee. This is Chenson Pasqual. And I am Janelle Labor. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -check.